Hi, through this video, we will explain uh, what people mean by spectrum of business analytics. Sadly, the word business analytics has been used very loosely in the industry. If you are like most of the starters in this domain, you will have a tough time understanding the spectrum and then understanding what different people refer to business analytics. Don't worry, we will clear this confusion through this video. With help of this video and a little practice, you will find yourself in good shape to understand the spectrum of business analytics. Let's try and understand the spectrum of business analytics through a graph. On my horizontal axis, I have the business value added through analysis. On the vertical axis, I have the complexity of analysis. The first uh, domain which people typically talk about is MIS or reporting. MIS refers to the business reports which you see in your mailboxes every day. These reports are meant to objectively state what has actually happened. This is an example of one such report which reports business sourced from various cities and regions, number of items which were of bad quality and hence what was the rejection score. By looking at these colors uh, over here, you can get an idea about the quality of business sourced at various locations. So Delhi seems to have a very high rejection rate. On the other hand, you have Asansol which is sourcing excellent quality of business. Now if you see, this report just tells you the state of business as a matter of fact. It gives no understanding about why this is so. The minute you start asking these questions, you move on to the next level of analytics. It is more complex than the simple reporting which we did in MIS. At the same time, it adds more value to the business. This kind of analysis is typically known as detective analysis. Now, detective analysis is good, but it is still looking at uh, the business in rear view mirror. Dashboards provide you updated information at your fingertips. Preparing a dashboard is more complex than the two areas we discussed before, but adds a lot of value by standardizing the metrics which the organization is looking at, defining them, and it also empowers business users to access the information whenever they need. This is typically how a dashboard would look like uh, in any organization. Next we move to more advanced analytics. We now move away from looking at reports or dashboards and start understanding the behavior of customers. This is the data and the trends which they have shown in past. This could be in form of predictive modeling, segmentation or clustering of your existing customers. Note that you have also moved away from just looking at past information. You are now move, uh, using data to create a big impact on your organization. Finally, we come to the latest frontier of analytics, typically referred as the big data. You can understand big data as applying advanced analytics through a microscope. All your analysis becomes very granular. You start tracking things like how your customers are behaving on your website, what does it tell you about their interests, which communities does your customer belong to, what are the people they might be knowing, all of this analysis happens at a granular level and with all the information available. There is no sampling which happens at this level. In summary, this is how the business analytics spectrum looks like. You can find some more details like skills required for each of these uh, domains and uh, the tools which are used in each of these domains through the handouts provided. Thank you.